Hello everyone, today in this video we will find and change the atmosphere of our world around us and this time we will discuss a topic that comes back uh, very very often especially when some crisis situation happens and uh, people don't know what's going on because we know how it is that when something unexpected happens especially on a larger scale many people are surprised because they are living with their everyday life they are uh, occupied with something else busy with different stuff and they don't have enough time to uh, explore the world around them and uh, really know what's happening that is why many propagandists are using this fact and are ser serving to these people in quotation ready solutions in quotation ready explanations and one of these in quotation ready explanations is the story about powerful Khazars powerful uh, different organizations in most cases only one or even one or two three families that are ruling everything that are ruling the entire world and are deciding about everything i do not want to say of course that we don't have any secret uh, groups that are acting more or less secretly uh, as you uh, know from my channel already i'm very often emphasizing when i'm referring to the government i'm i'm telling as follows the government we see and the government we don't see and what what do i understand by the government we don't see the government we don't see are secret service cor people from corporations and uh, different uh, mo more or less uh, secret organizations because some of them act semi-secretly so part so, so part of their activity is official part of their activity is unofficial like different rotary clubs and different masonry clubs and so on and some of these groups are completely secret like school and bones and other ones that are acting uh, secretly for the for the good of their own members and for the good of their own group of course because uh, we shouldn't uh, succumb to the propaganda that is offered to us by leftist uh, theorists that everything is for the common good everything is for the humanity for climate for environment and other stupid stories like this everything what people do if they are organized within some groups nation state uh, other groups religious groups whatever groups of interest they are working for their own interest and there is another set true that we need to realize that we can uh, we can uh, be, be we can be members of a big group but if group is too big there is a problem there are always inner circles circles within the circles because the property of our world is as follows that uh, only effective help from one one member of the group to another can be delivered when the group is relatively small group cannot be too big if group is too big then of course because goods and the amount of work one can uh, one can uh, does is limited within some time we need to limit the number of potential beneficiaries to uh, satisfy their needs it's natural that's why people always have tendency to differentiate uh, themselves from the others and to divide the populations to which they belong into the groups of interests of course these interests can be manifested by different ways like nation race religion uh, group of business and so on and so on 
everything is actually group of business uh, interests and when we are equipped with this knowledge we can understand that uh, there is always a limitation by the size of the group and this limitation defines the effectiveness of mutual help between its members and coming back to this propaganda i wanted to mention you in the beginning of the video is that uh, there are some families some groups like Khazars Khazars were early medieval populations of nomads of Turkic origin who, and some of them converted into Judaism of course they were members they were organizing their state into the form of a horde trading with slaves and so on but also other Slavs were trading with slaves if they enslaved the members of the other tribe other Eugrophines, Eugrophinic people were doing the same and so on and so on and they were of course defeated in the uh, in the beginning of the second half of the 10th century AD by uh, by prince by prince or in the western nomenclature I should say prince or duke in, Ra in uh, Polish and Russian Kniaz Igor and he defeated them and destroyed the Khanate actually uh, which uh, had been for uh, some time uh, before th before that in some crisis and uh, there is a, there are also some stories which are not true that Ashkenazi Jews come from Khazars and so on and so on which is actually a mythology of some mythomaniacs like Mr. Arthur Kistler a Jewish communistic activist from Hungary who was and doing many bad things also to his family members the, uh, denouncing them to the secret service because he wanted to change one lady to another in his life and uh, he of course uh, reacted in 30s writing this essay 13 tribe that he uh, concludes that uh, Ashkenazi Jewish comes from Khazars which is actually uh, not true but we know that when when uh, some people have inferiority feelings or there is some pressure from outside like these were the years of anti-semitism in fashion some people are trying to compensate this uh, this all factors this bad situation for them and they are writing such essays or books that are proving ah uh, thousand years ago we were powerful we were enslaving everybody we were great you know to heal their inferiority feeling and this is all that all about it but now a Russian propaganda especially when the conflicts in the central and eastern Europe are uh, are blowing up uh, one after another uh, since 2014 we have a lot of propaganda that of course this come to west according to this propaganda is uh, ruled by Khazars, uh, uh, descendants of Khazars and only Russia under the leadership of Volodymyr Volodymyrovich P is the only country that uh, really uh, can bring freedom to poor nations that are suppressed by Khazar regimes and now we see why very often we see such propaganda uh, that offers too simple explanation to the complexity of the world and the structures that are ruling this world and are very dynamic it cannot be so simple as this propaganda says that's why we should always go to history and our knowledge to uh, to fight back these simplifications and mixtures of lies and pseudo truths and the uh, fact is that uh, when we are always uh, hearing such versions we should always ask ourselves a question who is spreading them and what's the purpose of spreading these questions and as i said i do not deny that there are many organizations that are working semi-secretly or secretly for their own interest of course there are there are secret services agents of corporations other groups of interest in different environments like school and bones in academic environment and many many
many others, but we shouldn't succumb to these oversimplified explanations that uh, all power in the world is only in the hands of few people or one specific ethnic or religious group. It would be too simplistic, and it is too simplistic. But it serves the propaganda purposes for current empires to spread this information and make people dumb. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.